Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltin and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. The knights are well aware of our enemy's strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now. But don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. <laughs> Professor! That... It's not... By the time... I guess if you put... I have a request. I hear you've been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sounds like you'll be fighting alongside the knights, too. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. Your performance in the mock battle was exceptional, Professor. You have inspired me to follow your example and study even more diligently. Perhaps we could train together sometime. I would love to test myself against your sword skills again. It is better if you do not approach me. If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. That reminds me. Professor. And now that you're all the way over here, Professor, care to join me in some training? After training, I love tending to the horses or burying myself in a good pile of books. <sighs> There's truly nothing better. Hi, Professor. I've actually got plans, so... For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. So let me give you some advice. Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal, nothing more. 
He's strong and skilled, sure. But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. Professor. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. The next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one battle, which is better, strength or skill? I knew it! When it's all said and done, muscle always comes out on top. Hello. I was just looking for my... Well, it's... It's like a pale blue cloth. Have you seen it? Uh, um, okay. Professor. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Remind me of someone I know. likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Spicy? Ooh, your tastes are so mature. I'll definitely remember that. vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? I have agreeance! In Bridget, I am able to be wearing much lighter clothes. How about this? Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him.
ups. I fully accept the necessity of real battle from time to time, but it is still a surprise to be tasked with punishing bandits without warning. It is a rather different sort of mission. It makes me wonder what the Archbishop is planning. For some students, this will be their first time stepping onto a real battlefield. It's important that they're mentally prepared. As for me, <laughs> do I look green to you? Is there anything else you wish to ask me about regarding spending your time at the monastery or battles? Just as students have much to learn from other students, professors can also share their knowledge with each other. You should consider seeking instruction from Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. I think you'll find their insight quite interesting. Which house a student is assigned to depends on where they're from. That said, each professor has their own area of expertise. So if a student is adamant about it, it is possible to switch someone from one house to another, pending your approval, of course. If you become closer with the students by partaking in the various activities around the monastery, you'll be able to talk to them about such things. That person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Hello. I was think the Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the Divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the Knights. What about... Professor, you're the one taking out the bandits? <laughs> That's one way to start your career at the Academy. I didn't expect they'd order us to risk our lives here. Seems a bit extreme, doesn't it? What's up, Professor? You need something from me? Hey. I was thinking... Bored. Maybe I should go into town, but that would be such a hassle. Oh, hi, Professor. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. Ah, you can tell? I suppose being a professor has taught you how to ferret out time wasters. Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess, I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. Oh, Professor, how are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. You Hello there. there. We will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. Look bored. Care to do? What? I just wanted to spar. What? So. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. I 
was thinking. Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time-consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. Alright, I will list the six great noble families. There is Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there is Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Geert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Eyer, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. There is nothing I cannot achieve. Here's an idea. I hear the Officers' Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. The cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? Me too. Shall we pray together? There's something else. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? You don't sound terribly sure. Perhaps you are not of noble birth? After all, devotion is not as essential for a commoner. Hey! So... Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite, Professor? Now that you are a member of the Church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. I have something to ask of you. <laughs> I see. Thank you for paying me a visit. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there... Perhaps something I can help you with? Believers live their lives by her sacred wisdom. Please use the library's vast resources to learn more. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Well... What? Xanado, the Red Canyon, is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the Church are forbidden from entering without permission. To go trampling around in there, causing trouble, those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. Thanks for your help. Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the Unknown Crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so.
can't believe I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. Well, I agree. They're brimming with the knowledge and experience of our ancestors. Lovely. Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume. It's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? <laughs>